welcome to my channel. Today I am making an envelope flip book. Originally my plan was just to make envelopes and decorate them pretty and send them to a pen pal um, so that she could reuse them in a different way. But um, when I put them all together, I was like, oh, I kind of like the way this looks. And so I just decided to make an envelope flip book and it was perfect because it used up the rest of my kit. Um, yeah, I think you might be seeing this in the middle of the month, but this is one of the last projects I do. So it's using up the last of my kit, but I did get so many projects done this month. And if you stay tuned to the end of the month, you'll be able to see all the projects that I made with my wild hair kit. Um, this kit um, has a lot of um, sunny days in it from Maggie Holmes. It has some um, uh, Paige Evans in it. So it's a really, really, really fun kit that I have here. And I love it. I'll link down below if you want to get a kit like this of your own uh, from the wild hair kits. And if you're interested in seeing what's in my kit, I'll also link down below um, the kit that I'm working with this month. So I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch or envelope punch, sorry. And it's really, really, really easy to use. Um, the directions are really simple. You can make all sorts of different sizes, which is fantastic. There's so much variety and um, they're really easy to make. So I'm just folding them up and assembling them and using some adhesive to put them all together. And I'm really loving the way they're looking. The colors are so fun. It's so colorful. This kit I got this month just is the perfect colors, pinks and purples and yellows and blues. So this is where I was looking at it and I was like, oh, this actually might look good as like a flip book. And that's not what I had planned, but um, that's quite all right. So I'm just assembling the flip book. I'm putting the backs of the envelopes together to make a flip book. And now I'm going to start embellishing. And I loved this. Um, it, I think it's a Pink Fresh Studio card. Um, and I love, I loved that there. I kind of just put it there to see what it looked like. And I thought it, it turned out pretty cute there. So um, I added some flowers from the Whimsical collection. I believe it was, uh, is that where they're from? Anyway, they're Paige Evans flowers and they're so gorgeous. And so I used those and then I'm just going to make some layers for the right side, layer those up and make a cute little cluster there with um, that. There's a card from the um, Pink Fresh Studio little pack that I got. And then there's um, just cut aparts from the Sunny Days paper and since I got that Sunny Days paper, I feel like it really, really, really stretched my kit so much further because I love to layer and it added so many extra layering pieces to my kit on top of already the chipboard I got and the um, ephemera pack I got and everything else. So it really added just another, another dimension to my kit that took it so much further which is something I love about the kits. There's, it's always specific to what you're looking for, which is fantastic. And I added another flower on the right to kind of balance that all out. And I'm going to add this piece on because it was just part of, um, a part of a flower I used on a previous project. And I went through my chipboard, grabbed that little bathing suit and that matched, that kind of pulled some of the blue from the left and brought it over to the right. And this was really a great way to use up some of my paper from my kit. In scrapbook layouts, I don't use a lot of um, 12 by 12 paper, but in Happy Mail I do. And it's even better that it is double-sided because I think it looks really cool with a pattern on um, inside the envelope. So I think that looks fun. I don't know who I'm sending this to yet, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be some fun happy mail for somebody. And then I forgot I had this um, these stickers here, so I was like, this couldn't be more perfect. And um, put my friend, because I thought that worked. It's going to some pen pal, not sure who yet, but it's going to a pen pal, so of course they're my friend. Then I wanted to bring in more of the flowers, so I put another flower there and I will stick with that. 
but I wasn't quite sure where I was going with this middle pocket. I didn't quite know what to do with it, but I like how it turned out in the end. I think it looks pretty cute. But with an envelope flip book, there's so many different um, sides that you have to, well, you don't have to, but that you um, embellish. And uh, so there's lots of uh, different spots, which can make it fun, but also like quite repetitive. So it's good to try and get creative and, and make each page a little bit different. And then I remembered I had these, this um, butterfly paper in um, the six by eight sunny days uh, paper pad that I got in my kit. And um, I love that it brought out the dark blue that's throughout this book. And they were pretty easy to fussy cut, actually. And I just thought they were really cute. So I cut out a few of those and um, scatter them throughout the flip book, which I really loved. Um, I don't normally fussy cut just because I find it like so tedious. And, and some people say it's relaxing. For me, it's not relaxing. So... I don't do it too often, but I found um, these are pretty easy to do. And then I'm going to use some black mist spray to make some paint splatters over the, the project. And I'm running really low on that, but I'll have to find that's I'll have to find um, a new kind of mist spray that's black because I use black a lot. Or I could use black watercolors or black acrylic paint. Um, and of course, I took some. Um, enamel dots and there were some in my kit and then I took some from my stash because I was running a little bit low because this was my last project for the month. Um, yeah, like I said, I made so many. I am so excited about it. <laughs> I stretched this kit so far. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do some layering on this one with the acetate and um, I put some of it up on a chipboard and I'm just going to keep layering it up and seeing what I can add and find and and mix all the colors up and um, not be too picky about it because then that's when it takes forever and it's very tedious and then it's sometimes not as fun anymore. So I just kind of go for it and have fun with it and uh, try not to worry about making it too perfect. I find that the black mist splatters really help it become more consistent when I put it on every page and, and flow nicely. Um, I love the added touch and, um, yeah. Okay. So I just have one more little page here and I don't love how this turned out, but I think it looks okay. Um, I'm really just going on the last bits and pieces that I have. So I thought I'd make a little flip flippy page with this acetate piece and again from Pink Fresh Studio and I put that fun chipboard sticker on top that's from the Sunny Days chipboard from Maggie Holmes and I'm going to make this like a little flip flippy bit and uh, layer up some pieces behind it that's from the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days cut apart sheet that I got in my kit and really just using up the last bits and pieces to make this cute make it look nice um I only have a few pieces of chipboard left I have a few flowers left only a few of each thing left so I wouldn't really be able to make much with it but I think I got some some really cool projects done and I'm really starting to make a dent on my um vacation album for my trip to Hawaii so I'm really excited about that uh, I grabbed this from my stash this is a Tim Holtz um uh, I think it's called like chit chat or small talk or something like that. Um, and I'm just scattering them around. I, I love that. I don't know. I don't know. I just love those, the little word strips and phrase strips. I think it adds something to the project. So it's something that I always like to add or most of the time at least. So that's what I'm doing. Just going through my stash and picking out, um, some final things since I am getting to the end of my kit and this washi tape is also from my stash but I thought I wanted to I would scatter it in different places to match that other page that I put it on to really bring it all together and I think it looks cute so I'm happy with that I'm gonna add some enamel dots and there's some purple in this kit which is great because then I can use up a lot of my uh, purple enamel dots and I'm just going to roughly put like an outline of black around the edge of this 
Um, just cause it, it, I felt like it needed something. It felt like it was just kind of floating there. So I just scribble a little bit and I think it looks good. And then add one more black phrase sticker. And I think I call it done after this. Oh yeah. The little bird and some more enamel dots, but otherwise I think I call it done and I like the way it looks. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Um, I'll leave the link for the wild hair kits down below. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you're feeling inspired. And uh, yeah, I just put that little acetate on the back in case my pen pal wants to have it. So here are some final pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I had fun making this. And again, I love the colors in my kit. Like. Look at those bright, vibrant colors from Paige Evans. And uh, they go so well with the Maggie Holmes colors as well. That's why I love these kits. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.